what is up and welcome back to my channel Shay TV my name is Marissa Hill if you're new to my channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it feel free as well to leave me any comments or questions that you may have at the bottom and don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of heat coming out that I do not want you guys to miss and don't forget as well to check out that join button down below which is new if you guys don't already know I've created my own shade gang discord so definitely check out those different membership options and you will find where the discord option is and I would love to have each and one of you be a part of that discord it's good fun all right, also we have some new merch. As you guys can see, I am wearing the new Humble Brad crew neck. That is right, for my Humble Brad goers, this is by far going to be the crew neck shirt or hoodie, you name it, whatever type of option you want this term on, we have it available to you in that merchandise store. So be sure to go and check out that shop now, or actually after the video, not now wait till after. All right, you guys. So as you could guess, I was quite comfortable at the beginning of this video, right? Maybe, maybe anybody sleeping on these shoes, just like it was a comfy pillow. So if you had guessed it, these are another that none other than the Air Jordan one highs in the zoom comfort. And these were a woman's exclusive. All right. So just got done filming uh, some nice clothes and shoes. Just picked up a pair on my way back. Show you guys a little sneak peek at these. You can see, wow, these are like really wrapped very well. Ugh. I don't know if you guys dizzy there, but oh yeah. So we are going to start out by doing an overview of this new colorway on the silhouette. Then we're going to talk about sizing. So this came only in women's sizing. So we'll talk about how these fit in my woman's sizing. Then we're going to talk about how I was able to style these shoes. I had such a great time styling these shoes because as you guys can see, neutral color tones in the shoe makes it very easy to be styled with many different options. And then we are going to conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market currently. So let's jump into it. Let's start talking about the overview of these shoes. I know that but also the sleeping part could be interpreted as you slept on these shoes which I think many people did. This wasn't really, I feel like, a specific shoe that was promoted heavily because there have been so many drops coming out and this was definitely one that I almost missed. And I'm so glad that I didn't because when I opened this box up and I really got a feel for these shoes, especially when I had them on foot, these shoes are insanely uncomfortable, Unco not uncomfortable, comfortable. And it makes complete sense as to why comfort is in the name of these shoes. So let's get to it. Let's start going around this shoe. So this is in the Summit Sale colorway. When you touch the shoe, this is all premium leather. Specifically, it is covered in all fine suede. And you know, when you touch Air Jordan 1s, I feel like I've explained this multiple times, but the quality is so different on every single shoe I've gotten from Jordan. And uh, this shoe specifically is probably by far one of the softest suede I think I've ever felt on a Nike shoe. And I mean, it is literally so soft everywhere that I'm touching the shoe. I mean, it is insane how high quality the shoe is. It's almost bringing me back to like the quality of a New Balance shoe. That's how nice this suede is to the touch. So we've got, you know, these nice beige kind of cream color tones that we have going on throughout the shoe, on the toe box, on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. 
then we've got this indented swoosh which actually has like this kind of satiny feel to it and it's got a nice sheen to it as well you can kind of see that glimmering in the light there it really pops off of the top of this nice kind of beige tone that it's really been indented into which is kind of cool i like that indentation look for the swoosh mark then when we go over to the tongue it's still got that nice neutral coloring scheme with these black laces we've got the zoom air technology on the top there with that nice kind of deconstructed exposed foam look that we're now used to kind of seeing on the zooms then when we go inside we have a lot going on the insole here uh, we got the Jumpman logo, but it also says Nike and the Swoosh name and Stripe are your trademarks and your guarantee of quality Swoosh. And uh, yeah, that's a little, little different insole than I'm used to seeing. So then we've got this just kind of nice cream midsole followed by, again, kind of a nice beige creamish outsole that we have on the bottom here. And then we've just got some nice black tones going and wrapping around that heel and that same kind of shiny, satiny material that matches that swoosh mark. And then I kind of want to go through this, which was actually in the package. So we also have just a nice clean white wing on the side there but I just want to read and go through the images here. So we've got designed in Beaverton, Oregon, re-engineered for ultimate comfort is the top image there. Collar is made of two free floating foam panels for a more relaxed fit. So that's why we've got the two panels on the top there, if you're wondering. And then it says foam pods under perforated lining in both the tongue and collar for added comfort around the ankle. I will say this shoe really fits my foot very well. And it makes sense that they've got all this extra lining that they've added into it for that extra comfort. And then what's cool is it actually has the different layers of the shoe. So one is the sock layer, then you have the heel zoom bag top loaded into foam drop-in. And then the third layer is foam drop-in allows for all day comfort. And then the fourth is rubber sidewall allows for the comfort of foam with the iconic cup sole look of the Jordan 1. So you can see those different layers there. It's a cool little pamphlet that they give you. But definitely I will say that this Zoom technology is my favorite. I love the Air Jordan silhouette, but my favorite Air Jordan silhouettes currently, at least for comfort, are all the ones that have that added Zoom technology. It really, really makes a difference, especially if you're looking to walk around in these shoes for a long period of time. I definitely feel like that Zoom technology makes a huge difference. All right, so now let's talk about sizing. So as I said, these were a woman's exclusive, which we are being spoiled this year, ladies. I'm so happy that Jordan is thinking about us. Thank you, thank you for thinking about us. You guys are killing it with giving us more options because as you know, women love sneakers too. And so it's exciting to be able to see all these new women's exclusives that they've been coming out with back to back. Uh, this specific shoe, I decided to stick true to size. So I went with a woman's nine and I would say again that you should just stay true to size. I didn't change in any which way, shape or form. I do think that these fit me perfectly with a little bit of extra room, which I tend to like. Again, for those of you who don't know, I do have narrow high arch feet. Uh, so depending on the shape and size of your foot, it may determine which size works best for you. All right, so now let's jump into the styling section and talk about how I style these shoes. So first up, I decided to style this with a few different kind of casual wintry fall outfits. The first look was a kind of checkered skirt 
with the um, black and white kind of theme with cream, creamish color tones in it that really I felt like matched this shoe to a T. But I wanted to bring a pop of color in it, so I wore a size Marjan cashmere sweater to kind of give a little something to that look. And I wore that with a black long trench coat and I paired that with some black leggings underneath because it is so cold that there's no way you're gonna catch me outside right now, bare legs. It's just not, it's not possible, it's not happening. So that was the first look. Next up, I went with my Supreme Natural Beanie, which I think, of course, cream colors are gonna go great with this shoe. I paired that also with my Supreme Aerial Crew Neck sweatshirt in that burgundy colorway with some simple, just gray sweatpants. I think any type of sweatpant is going to really go well with these. This is a very hard shoe to not be able to match something with. It's just like so neutral in tone that I love it so much. Uh, then I paired that with another layer, which was just a nice kind of canvas toned trench coat. And I think those colors just all really worked very well for the fall winter season. Last but not least, I did a few layers for this next look. I used some options from the new Comme des Garçons Stussy collab. I wore a bucket hat, which has some similar colors in that hat as to the shoes. And then I also wore a Stussy Comme des Garçons collab shirt in black, which also had some white and grays in it. And then I layered that with a denim jacket and on top of that, a plaid jacket for some extra warmth. Cause again, it was pretty windy outside actually today. Every time that wind hit me, I was like, huh, that's a little chilly. Uh, and then I paired that with some nice dark gray jeans. right now. I'm going on across the street, but good thing we're not using that sound. Okay. 
So that was my last and final look. You guys let me know what your, was your favorite look out of the three options or how would you decide to style these shoes? All right, so now let's conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market currently. All right, so these shoes retailed at $140, which is insane for Air Jordan 1 silhouette. This is like the deal of the season, I'm not lying. As far as quality goes, I mean, this quality, I feel like they should have actually charged more for it when I'm like literally feeling the shoe on all parts of the medial and lateral side as, as far as the toe box goes. I mean, this is just like quality. And so I'm shocked that it retailed $140, but hey, I'll take it. As far as the resale goes, obviously depending on sizes, larger sizes are doing better than base sizes since this was a woman's release, uh, but that is going between $240 to $350. All right, you guys, thanks so much again for tuning into my channel, Shade TV. My name's Marissa Hill. Again, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have on this unboxing and review, as well as be sure to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of content that I do not want you guys to miss. And do not forget also to hit that join button. We have so many added perks for our shade gang members i don't want you guys to miss out on so be sure to check that out down below again we do have a new discord so i would love to have you guys on board with that and don't forget not surprise the brag gang be sure to check out that merch down below and we will catch you guys on the next video